But first tonight, Kansas City police are investigating the 41st and 42nd homicides of the year after two people were found dead inside of a vehicle this afternoon. 41 Action News anchor Gabriella Pagan has been at the scene this afternoon. She's joining us now live with details. And Gabriella, tell us what happened here. Well, Dia, first of all, there is still no suspect information, but since we've last visited you about an hour ago, roughly half a dozen or even more loved ones of these two adult victims, one man and one female, have shown up to the scene mourning those losses today. We did ask KCPD if any guns were recovered or if they can provide any more information on how today's events unfolded. We're told all of that information are things law enforcement is still working to gather. They've been doing so since around 1.30 when they first arrived here at 67th and Walrund. There, they found an adult male and an adult female, both suffering from gunshot wounds, inside of a car parked just off to the side of 68th Street. We're told that both of those adults died at the scene. That car now a focal point in this investigation. It is still here at the scene. We're waiting on word if the coroner is on their way or is in route. KCPD is now asking anyone who may have seen or heard or even recorded anything in this area around 1.30 to please come forward and help bring justice to these families. I know that that's a scary feeling. Um, there are many ways that you can speak to detectives. You can also remain anonymous to give that key piece of information that you might hold it can be life changing. It's not going to bring someone's loved one back, but it can definitely help with the healing process to know um, that the person who did this and who's responsible for this is, is being held to justice. And again, that number is 474 tips. As you can still see behind me, still a very active scene. We have seen at least six or seven police officers go up and down this neighborhood with clipboards, knocking on doors and asking anyone in this area if they have seen or heard anything. If that is you, please call in. For now, reporting live in Kansas City, Gabriella Pagan, 41 Action News.